What's up, the squad? Back with another video. I see in the title is going down. Make sure y'all hit the like button, subscribe button for me, please. This right here is what literally like disgusts me. This this is what is insane. When people lie and stay in denial about a lot of things that is going, you know, that's going on in the United States. Um, these are the kind of people that obviously don't want to see Americans win, see Americans do well. This is what you get right here. Let's check these videos out, y'all. You put up a chart. I just looked at the chart myself. It, the bottom line was from 2021. Well, what happened in 2021? Joe Biden and Kamala Harris came into office. This is when Democrat politicians were all the rage for defund the police. This had nothing yes. to do with that. Can I finish my right, point? Well, because I'm going to speak. I, no, no, but you, you can't. really did not. You can't move on. Monopolize this entire conversation for the most part. I if you for yelled a minute, across the table, didn't even let because me Because you lied. I'm not lying. I'm telling you the truth. You don't want to hear the all truth. Right. That's the problem. The let truth is up there in the problem is you don't want to. That is always the problem. Don't want to hear the truth. That is always the problem. Let me let you finish your thought. All I'm saying, all I'm saying is similar. I don't even know why you have on stage tonight. Similar to inflate because I'm bringing facts to you. Because you're lying. Because similar to inflation in 2024, the trend lines are coming down slowly. But that ignores the reality of 2021, 2022, 2023. You know what the American people are concerned about, which Donald Trump is speaking to? Massive inflation brought to us by Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. Not true. It is very true. true. Even Larry Summers said it. You can not interrupt true. all you want, but it's the facts. I was in the house. You were not. I know exactly what I happened. I know what you were doing in the but house. Again, but again, I'm going to move on. Hang, hang tight, Keith. I'm going to finish. Thank you. you have massive inflation. Created. Having them be told to be quiet multiple, multiple times, not only from Byron, but from other people is insane. That just goes to show you of stuff that is being trying to be censored and trying to that, that goes to show you right there. Trying to talk over him, trying to mess things up. So it, it's it's one of those things, you know. He's trying to talk over him and mess him up to where people are paying attention to them arguing versus what Byron is actually saying. People got to pay attention to a lot of these things. It's it, it, it tend to do it all the time. By Joe Biden and Kamala. That's true. The on, the same chart you just put up twenty twenty one. Through 2023, crime rates going up and then slowly tapering off in 2024. And then we're supposed to sit here and act like, oh, happy days are here again because the trend lines are going down. The trend lines over the last four years are massively up. That's what Donald Trump okay, is speaking to. Crime and is that's crime why the is American people have serious issues about what's going on in America. I will say this. Do you see how they do that? Now we got to move on from this conversation because he's speaking facts and they don't want to hear it. Because if they were talking about this situation, they can go all night about it. All night about it. It's insane, y'all. I'm telling y'all. This stuff is insane. So according to those uh, gentlemen there, saying that Trump is a threat to democracy is violent rhetoric. But Trump saying, let's just have one really violent day. That is not violent rhetoric? No, no. He didn't say Trump, one violent day. Trump That's not even what he said. Well, let's let's be honest about what can he actually play, said. Can we play, play it again. Trump again? Play it again because he didn't even say that. But go ahead. Can play we it play again. it again? I want to hear it. All these stores go out of business, right? They don't pay rent. The, the, the city doesn't have money. The whole, it's a chain of events that's so bad. One rough hour, and I mean real rough, the word will get out and it will end immediately. End immediately. <laughs> How is that not violent rhetoric? We have to acknowledge the reality going on in every city in America. Not answering Crime the question. Is mass not answering the question. That is answering the question. Because How is the reality in America, hold on, Keith, the reality in America is that crime is massively up. It crime is, so is not massively yes, up. That's is. a lie. You can bang the table. Y'all see in my last video, I said this is the stuff that that's why that's why I've been so mad is that people are in denial. This man is saying crime isn't up. Crime has already been up. Crime increased crazy as migrants came. I'm telling y'all, it increased crazy. And this man is literally sitting in that chair right now, lying through his teeth saying crime isn't up. Oh, you won't, you're that's lying, Congressman. Right. You're lying. We the already FBI, know that there is a FBI are just released wow. data this week. You the crime already, is going you down. Are, already know that oh, my God. Why do you want Listen, I could see if he said, I could see if he said that crime has been consistent or crime. I can literally, I can sit there and be like, you know what? I'm going to let that slide. 
This man said crime has been going down, y'all. This man literally just sat in that seat and said crime has been going down. That's that that right there is a shame. Man, that's sickening. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not lying. Like I'm telling you the exact truth. Not right. You may not want to. You may not want to. No, I am not. Lying. Because you're lying to the American he, people now. And talk, so I want to be respectful of what you're trying to say. Hang on a second. Go if ahead. you would just let Go me ahead. talk, I will explain exactly what you want me to explain. We have the data. The FBI literally put out data today showing that crime is down this year for the first six months of the year. But look at the track. No. 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 This 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 right here is is literally I'm 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 literally sitting here. I'm, I'm tired of the lies, bro. I'm tired of the lies. We see it everywhere how crime is, bro. Like I I just I don't understand that at all. I know for a fact last year when I started getting doing these videos and stuff like that, I would see different things happen. This that. This year, it's been so many things that have happened, especially as the migrants came. I'm telling y'all, that is that is sad, bro. We have seen Kamala Harris now in what wow. four different interviews now. She was on the she was with the All in Smoke podcast today with uh with uh with Matt Barnes and Stephen Jackson. We have not heard her actually go through a coherent argument for why her economic policies or any other policies are actually going to work. And when she's pressed on these issues, her her default response is. I grew up as a middle class child. Isn't that true? Not, that is very true. I've That's watched everything. That, I've... that goes to show y'all that this man is literally in denial. He can't even look Byron in his in his eyes and tell him that that's not true. That is literally her default answer to a lot of things, especially when she starts a conversation. A kid can walk up to her and say, "Well, how how can you help us out, Kamala?" You know what she's gonna say? Well, I grew up. That's what she's going to start off with. It's a shame that I know that. It's a shame. Matter of fact, my girl, she she's busy with the kids a lot. You know, she's doing her own thing with, with her vlogs, this, that, and other. My girl knows, she said. Literally, the whole, everybody knows what she's, what she's going to start off with. People that aren't even into politics or anything like that. She literally starts off every conversation. And then you had this dude. Sitting there lying. That, that I've watched that every response. interview. She, 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 I've watched every she did give a whole speech on her economic policy. Giving a speech in the teleprompter is not discussing policy off the cuff when you're asked directly by any reporter or any citizen in a town hall format or anything. And she has not proven that she can do that. To the contrary, what she is proving by her lack of being available to the press and really to the people is that she is heavily scripted. No. And so anybody no. can read the teleprompter, but what's going on when the teleprompter yeah. is off and you got to respond to real policy? Then, Come on now. That's a shame on how bad this dude, Keith, I think that's his name, right? Keith, uh, the woman Abby, on, on how much lies and and now they are, it's literally sad. I'm not even gonna lie. It's sad and it's very sickening. It is very sickening. You lie about you you lie about what she's doing, lying about the crime and this, that, and the other. That is sad. It says is this from uh, Trump? Uh, True Social. Uh, massive news. Uh, the Department of Justice just released brand new crime uh, data uh, showing I was absolutely and completely right at the debate. In fact, uh, the data uh, the data is even worse than we could have ever imagined. Uh, compared to 2020, um, violent crime is up nearly 40 percent. The R word is up 42 percent. Aggravated assaults are up 55 percent. Violent crime with the weapon is up 56 percent. Violent attacks on strangers are up 61%. Car theft is up to 42%. Trust and believe it is. Um, it's literally sad. And then it says here. And this, and he says, this does not include the migrant crime. So just I, I want people that are in denial and lying and supporting what Kamala Biden and all you know got going on, let that sink in. It's just not the migrants. 
This this we not we not gonna throw that. It says this does not include the migrant crime. You throw that in there, it's horrible. And they want to sit there and lie and say that it's decreasing. I'm so tired of the lies, y'all. I'm so tired of it. Make sure y'all comment down below. Let me know y'all thoughts um, on this video. Uh, make sure y'all stay tuned for the last video dropped tonight. Definitely a banger. Catch y'all next one.